Hello everyone, I'm Tony Richardson with ToddExpert.com and today I'm going to show you how to create your own business card. Now the template I'm using is a three and a half inch by two inch business card and this is pretty standard. If you've noticed I've sectioned everything out into zones. The green area, green on in, is a safe zone. Anything that's printed or typed or you know put in this area is safe it won't be clipped or trimmed the red is where their machines will actually trim this if you upload it to vista or got print um, if you go to their websites here's vista go to business cards and see all business cards you can get some ideas of what it's going to look like um, got print this is the one i use the most you can go to gotprint.com samples view samples online and then you can see a few examples. Here's one right here. Uh, just a nice logo on a white background, some information and office info. So I'll show you how I do it. And I'm going to upload this template on my site. So you'll be able to download it. And each one of these is layered. So you can uh, basically we'll shut the text off. I'll shut these two off and we'll have our safe area here. And I'll create a new layer. We'll rename that background. And then I will fill it with white. Shift F5 will do it. Or you can just go through the menu like I did. Now let's go ahead and drop in a logo. And I created a logo just before doing this. Um, let's see. Here's a logo. Now this is just a made up name. It doesn't exist. But um, if you do have a logo, if you see uh, and you're resizing it, just hold Shift and it'll constrain proportions. And will keep you from skewing the logo. And I'll put it up the top left, which... Uh, you know, it's where you see most logos and business cards. Now we need to put a little bit of text in. So I'll just uh, type my name, Tony Richardson, and we'll click OK. And then I'll, um, let's see, I'll just type a project manager, and we'll click OK. Now we'll grab both of these layers, and we'll hold this select tool, and then we'll align them. Um, or we'll click the select tool to have this menu come up. Now, one thing I'm going to want to do is going to want to change the colors here. We'll do uh, 31, 31, 31. All right, so that we can stay consistent. And project manager, let's go ahead with 53, 53, 53. So it's a little bit lighter. I'll click OK. Um, that should be enough. And then I'm going to move him down just a bit. We'll double click on my name make it a 10 maybe and double click on this one and it looks like it's a 6 already so we'll leave it at that but I'm going to drop them down just a bit alright now let's go ahead and let's put uh, maybe we could put some info up here or we could just uh, maybe this could be the company information and this area here can be uh, my information or you can do it just about any way you want we'll just go ahead and type some text in here somewhere road uh, this would be in Lansing Michigan 48910 and then um, oh, I clicked out and let's see uh, let's go ahead and put a phone number 555-1215 sounds good and uh, you can call me there I promise I will answer right away Actually, I won't because it's not a real number, but um, you probably knew that. We're going to grab, I, I'm, I'm going to put a little line here, so I'm going to use the uh, vector tools here. And I'm going to zoom in so I can get just a few pixels wide, something like, uh, about like that. Let's zoom out and see how that looks. Yeah, not bad. Um, maybe we want to put a, you know, I'm, I'm, I like corporate clean, so maybe we'll just put something like a website down here www.tudexpert.com we'll click OK maybe we can align that with the rectangle tool by grabbing a select we'll center them and looking pretty good um, might be able to bump this 1500 somewhere over just a bit just to match um, OK so looks pretty good now there's a few other things we can do we do see the safe zone so before you upload this you're going to want to shut that layer off and then you'll do a save as uh, you'll grab a PDF right here um, and then you'll use the US web coded 
uh, version 2. So I've already had that saved in your uh, mode here. Um, so And then I changed the print profile. So it should be fine if you use my template. Um, one thing though you may want to do if you wanted to spruce this up just a bit with uh, something like I was talking about the bleed edge earlier. If you have graphics that go off the edge, um, that bleed is basically so when they cut, they don't have any artifacts or white gaps on the edge. Um, I'll give you an example. I just have right here just the logo itself for this made up company of mine. Uh, and I'll just pull this off the page to where we can still see it. Actually, I tell you what, let's drop it all the way below everything else. Then I'll duplicate it by just dragging it down to create a new layer. And then we'll grab it and we'll pull it all the way up to the top right here. Okay, now um, that's a little busy. So what we'll do is we'll create a hue and saturation adjustment layer above it. We'll Let's just, uh, we'll actually ramp the saturation up a bit and then I'll drive the lightness just so I can keep the colors. Because if I pull the saturation down, I won't be able to quite see the difference in colors here. And it looks like we're losing them a bit anyway. So, But for a watermark, that's kind of about where we may want this to be. Um, but yeah, that looks pretty good. That's pretty sharp. So it just gives you a little bit of an idea of some of the things you can do. Um, you know, you can put more information right here if you wanted. Uh, with this at the top, you may not want too much going on here. You may not want any information, maybe a phone number or something for the company, uh, if this is your cell. But you can, you know, you can design this any way you want. This is a nice, corporate, clean, crisp look. So you would make sure all your layers are off. You can uh, look. That's your safe zone. Uh, this is where your cut zone is. So let's say you wanted these... Um, these circles here to, to actually show up. The one thing you're definitely going to want to do is, um, oh, that's the wrong one, so we'll grab it. You want to pull those in because this red area, that's where it's going to be cut, probably between the red and the gray. So if that was important to you to for branding purposes or something like that to get a few of these outside circles in, you may want to pull that in just a bit uh, just to make sure that when it's cut you can see a few of those. So, it's just a few tips. Uh, once again, I'm Tony Richardson with tutexpert.com. If you're on the site, go ahead and check out another video and get yourself some knowledge.